it is scorching out here right now guys 95 degrees that's the high today in the next few days it's supposed to get over 100 degrees but i'm out here nonetheless trying to catch some big fish for you guys which i think we'll be able to do today the bass are stocking up they're gonna be big they're gonna be wanting something to eat so i think we have a pretty good chance of catching something big catching something decent size but we're gonna get tied up stop talking start fishing clear waters it's actually very clear waters all right so we want something realistic chatterbait with an exo swim trailer on there perfect that'll give us some nice wobbling action in the back as well i just tried tightening it it's holding it like this pulling that tightening it and it slipped off my thumb kind of slipped right into the hook just gonna apply a little bit of pressure for now. All right, well after that small mishap, got the chatterbait tied on. Hopefully this little guy will get us on a few fish. Yeah, it is incredibly clear right now. Got good action, that's for sure. If chatterbait or wacky worm or anything else, if, if lures don't work, I got my ice fishing pole. We could catch some bluegill, use some live bait, which is allowed here. Bunch of little minnows over there. A few small bass. Moss lined edges. Frick. some moss oh there's a fish though there's a fish here we go <laughs> yeah no stay on stay on here we go <clears throat> let's go dude on the worst cast oh, dude i think she might be i don't know if that's a he or she i think wh whatever it is they are fat one I was gonna say she might be pregnant, but she would have already given birth already probably, so must just be stocking up on food for the winter. The stomach on that girl, she is a fat one for sure. Alright, let's get her back in the water. She wants to she wants to go. There she goes. Hopefully you can see in the footage I got it caught to ride across. I cast it too far into the bushes. Almost got snagged back there. You know, I kind of figured that there'd be some nice ones hiding back here in these little moss patches where it's nice and cooler. I think if I can get down here, this could be a pretty dang good spot. Just might have to check for ticks once I'm done. Oh, that's a fish. It doesn't feel too bad either. Yeah, there we go. Whew. All right, all right, come on. Can't tell how big he is yet. I think he's decent. Oh yeah, that's not bad. All right, get up there, get up there. Oh, yes, dude, that's not bad at all. Oh, dude, all right, calm down. Don't want to get hooked again. Right off the other side it's a long fight oh dude he's like not long not that long but he is chunky they're all fattening up right now i'm gonna wash him off there we go that's a, one of the best fish i've caught in a while he is he's just a chunky a chunky bass all right, let's get a nice release on this guy. 
Dang. That was a fun fight, too. He definitely felt bigger than the last. And he definitely was. Alright, well. Chatterbait does seem to be working quite well. So I guess we'll just keep using that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. That's not a bad one. That is not bad. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. All oh, through the weeds. Through the weeds. Come on. Nope. Stay on. Stay on. Stay on. Oh. Oh, that might be bigger than the last. Ooh. That is not bad. That is not a bad bass. All right, I'm gonna go run back real quick and go grab the skill. All right. Let's turn on the scale. He is currently three and a half. Right around there, or two and a half. Oh, my bad. Two and a half pounder. Not bad at all. Again, they are chunky fish right now. They are just stocking up. This guy really wants to go. Oh, he is ready. There he goes. Oh, what a fish. Still see him swimming off. Not gonna lie, he looked bigger than two and a half. If we keep upgrading our fish like this, we're gonna be getting to a nice five pounder soon. So it's been a little while since we've caught one. There we go. <laughs> right when I said it. Right when I said that. This guy is not a big one. He's just hungry. Come here. Well, that was very good comedic timing, little fish. Um, but you're not really anything that's too impressive, so... Thank you for biting the hook though. That, I appreciate that. I don't know, a lot of them are really just biting it off right, like off the drop. Maybe I just need to say every cast that I haven't caught one in a while. Maybe that's how that works. Do I have a fish? Do I? I think I do. I definitely do. Okay. That was unexpected. Oh, pops right out. Not the smallest one of the day. Still a fish. It's been a while. It's been probably an hour or two. Wow. I don't even know what happened. I thought I was like hitting against the bottom because I could feel his head shaking. I could feel that he was on there, but I thought I was just hitting against the bottom of the of the ground. Or there's a lot of like sticks and stuff over there. So I thought maybe I was caught on like some branches or something. Well, the fishing has slowed down quite a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it there. If you guys did enjoy the video, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a like and subscribed if you enjoyed it that much. Um, but if you want to watch another video, go ahead and click right here. Another the bass fishing video right here. Go ahead and click it. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one.